The newly appointed grocery commissioner has major concerns after the company that makes wheat bix cut off supply to the warehouse. He's waiting on an explanation from Sanitarium before taking any action. The wheat bix scandal was nothing more than a political pre-election scam job. Just like setting up an inquiry into handling the virus vaccinations and lockdowns. But make sure you don't start the inquiry until after the election. This scam setup is to boost Labour's votes pre-election. Look, we really care about you, but then, after the election, make sure the inquiry disappears or is a nothing burger. All are designed to get back into government, protect MPs, and screw the hard-working Kiwi taxpayer. Typical New Zealand Labour Party tactics. The warehouse sweet scandal was another New Zealand Labour Party scam, but maybe not quite so obvious. It's a good cop, bad cop, type of play. Firstly, Labour appoints a grocery commissioner late in the day, looking good for Labour. Then Labour arranges a major public incident by withdrawing wheat bicks from the warehouse. In steps the Labour Party's newly appointed grocery commissioner, along with the left-bent mainstream media. To scream from the high heavens how bad this grocery scandal is for the hard-working Kiwi taxpayer. Surprise, surprise, wheat bix is back on warehouse shelves in no time at all, and Labour has saved the day. Rubbish. The wheat bix incident was a scandal for sure. It was a New Zealand Labour Party scam job, all designed to take the gullible bread and butter Kiwi's mind off how terrible Labour has been in running the country. And hopefully scam a few more election votes. It was simply a good cop, bad cop, scam. Thank you for listening. Geraint, on behalf of Funner 8 Imp.